What is up everybody? We've got another unboxing today and a review. Today we are unboxing and reviewing the Bissell Pro Heat Two Times Revolution. It is a carpet shampooer. It is a newer model. And I just picked this up at Walmart for I believe 188 and that was a normal price. So let's check it out. So I am in kind of an awkward cramped area here. Um, my camera light is dead and I cannot find the charger unfortunately. So I'm up on the landing of my stairs. There's a window right here. Thought it would look a little bit cooler, but oh well. Hopefully you guys still enjoy. So right off the top, we've got your instruction manual. Looks like a quick start guide, your warranty paper. Wow, this is really cool so it comes with this little thin tool um, if you guys have ever used a shampooer before you probably know what I'm talking about the clear part where you can always see the water get sucked up you know if you've got pets especially you'll always see like hairs stuck up in that thing and there's really never a way to get it out they included a little flexible flat tool to get it out that is really really cool so already really impressed so you've got two kind of like dry off size things You've got a deep clean plus antibacterial. You know, with all this corona stuff, you need the antibacterial. And then you've got a pro max clean and protect with stain protect. Protects against future stains. We've got some like this that we use in our other one. I don't know how true that is, but hey, you know. Cool thought at least. So, first piece, we're just gonna come right out. We've got our reservoir, which is our clean water tank. You put your uh, your water and your formula up here. And I really like this one because you see right there, for your, there's two settings, I guess. There's the easy fill, uh, there's a express clean, easy fill, and a max slash deep clean. So it tells you where to put the water. So fill the water up to here and then top it off with formula you know, express clean if you got like, you know, if your dog might have made a mess or, you know, something happened, you partied too hard, somebody got sick. You don't need to shampoo, you know, you don't need all of this to clean it. So express clean, that's really cool. Fill the water here, formula here, and then you're not wasting all that stuff because you don't really want to let this stuff sit in here. It kind of just gets nasty and dirty over time. So we've got, um, we've got our helmet to protect our face. No, I'm just kidding. Just taking them out one by one, don't really know what's what. Here's the the arm, like the, the handle. So it's got your two screws on there. This has got your uh, trigger that you release the fluid with. And then, cool, I like when they include the bag. That just keeps it, you know, because there's usually not a lot of, not a lot of these have a spot, like a regular vacuum to put the hose. I wish they did but at least this one includes a bag, so. And the bag is mesh too, so I notice a lot of these are like, the whole bag is like this. That's gonna retain moisture, so if you put this thing away and it's not completely dry, because let's be honest, nobody's gonna like hang this out across the porch and let it dry out before they're putting it away. You wanna get it done, you wanna put it away, so. We've got. But yeah, like I was saying, so there's mesh which is really cool, so it can air out, it can breathe, it can dry without getting, you know, mildewy. Okay, so this is your mixing thing. Which I don't know, this is the only one I've ever seen include this, but it tells you right on here how to mix, so. Oh well, maybe this is just to pour the fluid in in case you have like a big container or something. So, this piece goes under here. Just like that, it snaps right in. Then if you need to take it apart and clean it, it just snaps right off. There's a couple uh, tabs right here. It looks like you maybe with like a flathead screwdriver, pop this off and clean it. But got the scrubber, sucks the water up here, squirt the water out here, trigger right here. Nice firm trigger too. It's not real sloppy like the last one I tried. And I like this. So on a lot of them I'm noticing as well, you have this big circle thing that you gotta like plug in and turn, which is your suction hose. And then it will have like a clear hose that's really flimsy that you gotta connect separately. 
this is all in one, so that's really cool. It looks like we are ready for the main thing. This bad boy is heavy. It's got some weight to it. Okay, so let's put this bad boy together. Okay, step one. First, insert the aluminum upper handle at the top of the base until you hear a click. Do not put the clean tank on the machine until step four. There it is. Oh, yep, I can feel it. Now the trigger works. So that was like the, there's a, a rod that goes through here that like pushes on whatever mechanism releases the water. And you can feel it connect now that you uh, squeeze the handle. Step two, align the carry handle with the slots on the side of the base and then click into place. So this is the carry handle. Looks like right here. Click, click. So there's like a peg that goes in here, just kind of like lines up and then just snap this in place and then that's it. So that's your carry handle. That's pretty surprising, it's super lightweight. Step three, use a Phillips screwdriver to secure screw into the carry handle. Oh, there's just one screw, okay. So take your Phillips, which is the plus, take your screw. screw in right down here. There's a little arrow. Now it's plastic thread so if you keep cranking it you're just gonna strip it so just get in there nice and snug and then that's it. So now step four take the clean water Okay, so it just slides, whoops. Just, it's got like some notches right here, and then it slides into this right here. And that's it, just kinda, kinda just mushes into place. It doesn't really like click. So it looks like this handle is also your cord wrap. There's a cord wrap down here, like a hook down here, and then this hook. Man, with as big and heavy as they make these, they really need to put a uh, automatic cord rewinder on one of them. And cool. So the cord stops with enough room to do it. Our vacuum, it goes right around and then you're supposed to clip it. It annoys my soul to no end. So that is really it for the unboxing and setup. So when you pop this up, that's cool. So we'll pop that up. And then as you can see, this goes right in here. Snaps in, you see that? And then it's, uh, it's in there good. So now when you turn it on, which is this button right here, it's gonna be all through this. So squirt, you know, scrub it a little bit and then just go nice and slow. And for really stubborn stains, squirt it as you're pulling it back and that's really gonna saturate it and suck up that water real quick. Let's plug it in and see how loud it is. Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna shampoo the carpet. I don't have any cleaner in here because I just did these literally today. But we'll go ahead and turn it on just show you like sound. So over here on the left side, there's Max, Deep, and Express. So not really sure what the difference is, but um, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some overall thoughts. This thing looks, feels, and I think it's gonna perform amazing. 
So this thing has the two X, the two times or whatever you want to call it, is because it has two augers in here. A lot of these vacuums, or a lot of these shampoos now, these don't even spin. So what it does is it'll have some of these bristles, either in a straight line or like a couple circles or something, and they don't even spin. So as you're pushing it, that's the only movement you're getting is just simply going like this. That's the only thing it's doing. And then it squirts the fluid and it sucks it up, obviously, but it's not actually agitating the carpet, which is not going to get it very clean. If you have some light stuff on the surface, yeah, sure, maybe, but these things, scrubbing, we even just used one that it has like four circle pads and it's got these on there and they kind of like, they spin and it works good. It works a lot better than the ones that are stationary, but this style right here with the two augers like that, that's like a vacuum is going to be the best of the best. I mean, short of using like some kind of steam cleaner, obviously, but. And then you can see when you release the foot brake or the foot pedal here, they actually drop down. So when it's on, they're lifted up and you're not moving, they're lifted up. And then when you drop this down, you can see it drops down. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. See that? So that is really, really cool. The black and yellow just looks really cool with the aluminum. The only thing I would change is the power button being in a different spot. Because right now it's right here up on the side and it's just kind of awkward, but it's not a big deal. So here's the uh, reservoir where you can empty it. And I'm sure all you do is just tilt this back. Didn't even go over that. Actually, oh wow, that's really cool. So. Another thing I just found out that I love about this unit. So all the other ones I've ever used, except for one, you have to snap this in. Like there's snaps either in the front or there's two on the side. And it's just annoying and honestly it feels cheap. Like, it feels like you couldn't think of a mechanism to just, you know, be able to pull it out. Check this out. Check that out, you guys. That is awesome. That is so stupidly simple this is undone because i was playing with it from the back and let's put it back in you guys it can't get any simpler your fluid goes right in here literally just lift that off it sits flat a lot of these don't stand up right you know you gotta hold them or whatever so you can set this in your sink or on your counter wherever fill it up shows you exactly where to fill it up to you don't need anything extra literally set it right here it heats the fluid up and then when it's full one hand boom set this up pour it out in your sink or your toilet or wherever you pour it rinse it out boom Boom, that's simple. Okay, now I'm about to use the uh, handheld thing. What you're seeing down here is really exaggerated by the camera. Like, it's way worse on camera than it is in person. It's just like the material. Like, if you wipe your hand, you know, one way it kind of, like, changes color. But this right here, I'm not sure what the, this is. Um, this is, like, ash from our fireplace right here when I was working on it last year. I completely missed that spot, so...
You guys, just that little patch and then doing the couch. Look how dark that water is. Now granted, I think some of this could be like dye from the rug or something like that, but that's insane. But you see how simple it is to take this thing out. One-handed operation. Boop, boop. And then the port out. You don't have to open any flaps or taking anything apart. Lift that up. I mean, I guess this is lifting up a flap, but I mean, some of these you gotta like disassemble this tank to be able to pour it out, and then it doesn't even barely pour out. This one, boop, lift that up. That's it. Close it back up. You're not touching any of that nasty water. And then, boom, that's simple to throw it back on. Okay, super quick review. Um, the part that you've seen so far besides the cleaning, I recorded probably like two weeks ago. Um, I've been super busy at work, so I haven't, been time, I haven't had a lot of time to edit. I have used this thing a handful of times now. I've probably ran at least two full tanks of water through this thing, um, cleaning little spots on the couch, you know, when the puppies have an accident or something. Um, I cleaned some more on the stairs. Uh, some more in our bedroom and stuff. So I've used it both the handheld and you know as a Shamp like a whole carpet shampooer. It is amazing. It is worth every penny. I really have no complaints about it Honestly, it has been great. It is by I've used probably like six or seven different ones of these in my lifetime I'm only 28. So I haven't had you know a whole lot of experience with these. I'm no pro I don't professionally review these or something like I said, this is you know We bought this for our own house because we needed one um so comparing to other ones I've used, both new and used, you know, newer models, older models, this by far is my favorite. And I feel that the price tag is very fair. Um, we bought a new vacuum and that was like a hundred bucks, a really nice one. And this was, uh, I'll put the price right here, I forget what I said, but again, very competitive and very fair compared to, you know, other things. There was cheaper ones, but you lose a lot of these nice features. like. I can't, I still can't get over the one-handed operation of this and the fact that it just literally plops right back in, you know, one-handed on here, uh, one-handed hose operation even, like, you don't have to plug in multiple things to use the floor attachment, um, and it looks cool, like, it's got, like, a cool, modern, sporty kind of look to it, as weird as that sounds, a floor cleaner looks sporty, I don't know, but... Um, if you guys are in the market for one, I definitely highly recommend this. I'm not paid for this review. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just me reviewing something that we bought. So, um, I do thank you guys for watching and, uh, would definitely really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, let me know your thoughts down below, questions, comments, whatever. And, uh, if you want to subscribe, I would definitely appreciate that too. I'll see you guys.